This Saturday, the 4th of July, the wait will be over for area race fans. It's opening night at Langley Speedway in Hampton. The kickoff to the 70th season of racing at the legendary short track. Nathan Epstein stopped by the track today to see how preparations are going for the first race of the year. Nathan. After three months of waiting, three months of silence, the engines will rev up, the gates will open, and Langley Speedway will get back to racing. It's more relieving at this point. Yeah, I think everybody's sick and tired of being cooped up right now at home, and the opportunity that Bill Mullis has presented us to get back out here and go racing is something that you know we've all just been chomping at the bit to go do. Phase two of Virginia's reopening allowed NASCAR tracks to reopen, but without fans, which wasn't a viable option for track owner Bill Mullis. Phase three allows for up to 1,000 people at sporting events, so Langley is ready to go and ready to open safely. Our ticket office will actually be entirely closed. Uh, since our event is now sold out for Saturday, we're going to have multiple entry and exit gates. Our concession stands will also have social distancing guidelines in place. Our employees will be wearing masks, uh, concession stand employees with masks and gloves, uh, social distance markers everywhere. So we've, we've got the whole place covered. Everything covered except for one unexpected turn. Our capacity is actually being uh, limited a little bit more than we anticipated. These grandstands seat about 5,200 people, but because of an executive order released by Governor Ralph Northam yesterday, drivers and pit crew are included in that 1,000 person capacity, which means only 700 spectators will be able to enjoy the race on Saturday night. It's certainly disheartening. It's a start in the right direction. And Saturday is just the start of a long season still ahead. We have 17 late model races. We'll have 13 modified races. We have our cars tour coming here uh, August 29th. Our annual Hampton Heat late model race will be here uh, July 18th. And then our season will now extend through the end of October. The longest sanctioned short track in all of NASCAR is back in business. In Hampton, Nathan Epstein for the Sport Track. All right, thank you, Nathan. While racing returns to Langley on Saturday, we're going to have to wait a while before NASCAR's Cup Series returns to Richmond. The scheduled date for that event, Saturday, September 4th, a night race. It's the second race of the playoffs this Sunday. They're at the Brickyard in Indianapolis, and you can see that race right here on Wavy TV 10.